Morning guys, and welcome to another episode of What I Eat In A Week As A Vegan. My name's Nicole, I've been vegan for 15, 16 years. I love sharing very easy, simple, but still healthy and tasty recipes on these little vlogs. So hopefully you'll love the video. I'm at home a lot this week. Some weeks I have like tons of events and I don't really end up cooking much, but I think we should have a lot of healthy, lovely recipes this week, which is great. And one of my favorite breakfasts to do is scrambled tofu. So that's what we're gonna be starting off with, but with a bit of a like Greek inspired twist. We are getting closer and closer to summer and I just love these sort of recipes for the summer months. I feel like the olives, the oregano and the vegan feta are really what makes this taste like kind of Greek. I actually sunbathed for the first time in a long time yesterday and it was so nice. That was my first sunbathe of the year. It really is my happy place. So this week we are working with Green Chef. They do incredible vegan recipes. They've got a big wide variety and it just helps you stay creative in the kitchen. Every time I'm in a bit of a wrap, I love to get one of these parcels and it just re-inspires me of cooking. So if you use code Nicole61, you get to save 40% off your first two boxes and then 25% off your next two boxes. That is a nice way to save money on your shopping and cook some really lovely meals at home. Ah, let's go, I'm hungry. So they send you the recipes, they send you what you need. It's really simple and it's really good at reducing food waste. You get what you need and you also get to learn as you go along. You've got lots of good tips on the back and you just walk yourself through these recipes. Quite educational, quite inspiring. So first up we've got chimichurri portobello mushroom tacos. We also have Thai inspired sweet potato cakes and bulgogi king oyster mushroom bao buns. Oh my God, I don't even know what to go for first. But yeah, they put the cooking time on here as well as the calories. So you like, can kind of work with how hungry you are as well as how much time you have. Just love it. They put the chilled ingredients in these little bags. So I got to put that in the fridge straight away. But for the stuff that doesn't need to go in the fridge, they have a number on them. So you can just match them up to the recipe and I don't have to unpack it all until I'm ready. I always go on about how I don't have tons of space. I like that they make this quite simple for people who are just like, Low on space, don't want to unpack too much. Oh, I don't know what to go for. The only fridge items I have is a bit of cheese and the bao buns. But I think I'm gonna start with the bowels. So bao buns, number five, let's get to it. So we've got all of our sauces and stuff like vegan mayo, sriracha. You really do need a lot when you're making bao, so I'm excited about this. My little bao bun, sweet potato, carrots, spring onion, radishes and mushrooms. King oyster mushrooms. I don't think I've ever cooked with king oyster mushrooms before. And that's one of the reasons I love getting Green Chef. They're really good at like pushing your boundaries and getting you used to cooking with new foods. I made this. I actually think this is one of the best meals I've ever made. I definitely would have thought this meal would be way too ambitious for me. Bao buns is such a restaurant meal, but look, I made it myself. I am so excited for this. I love bao buns. Mm, amazing. I don't know why, but I've always been so intimidated by king oyster mushrooms, even though I love mushrooms. So I love that I've finally cooked with them. I love just how healthy and balanced these meals feel as well. Like there's so much veg in here, but it doesn't feel like I don't know, like I'm eating a salad. I am not really in the mood for a run right now, but I'm gonna go on one anyway. If you guys have been watching, you know, I've not been feeling the best for like weeks now and I'm finally feeling good again. And it's nice to be out running and eating healthy and 
putting time and effort into feeling good again, so yay! <laughs> I think my bread was too thick because my croutons are taking forever. Okay, forgive me. These are not proper croutons. More lightly toasted bread, but I'm hungry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that would have been a health hazard. Cheers. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I really love the vegan tuna. Mm. Morning guys, lovely sunny day today. I am heading off to get my nails done, which is around Ladbroke Grove area, very near Portobello Road Market. So I'm gonna head there for lunch. So I'm gonna try and make sure I get quite a big breakfast in so I don't go crazy when I grab like a little snack later. I got some pickled garlic at the market at the weekend. So I'm gonna chop up a bit of this as well to just add a little bit more flavor in. Oh my God, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> there are two types of vegans the vegans that love falafel and the ones who aren't that keen i don't just i don't hate it i just think it's overdone like in the vegan world i don't <laughs> but it's charity shopping Oh wow, we are doing a haul. No, it's, this is just so cute. It's a duo. Very like sunset. Mmm. And blossoms. I thought that was a hat for a second. I was there and I still thought it was a hat. hat. Yeah. <laughs> I have dinner plans in Camden tonight at 7.15 but I want to buy some skincare from a shop here which closes at 7 so I'm here a little bit early. Okay sadly they didn't have what I wanted in stock but the owner recognised me and she sent me away with some goodies which is so sweet and they are such a cool brand they're really good on like natural beauty and eco friendly just all the good stuff really excited to try these so that one was hummus yeah i need that one and then what's that one uh green beans green beans and then this one was aubergine aubergine and then that's all the bread oh. that one's yours right yeah <laughs> literally had to sprint for the last train home tonight that was that was tough <laughs> so there were three of us running for that train i was the back of the pack which was really embarrassing as a marathon runner again i'm blaming the shoes the guy that was ahead of me um held the door open so i managed to catch the last train home and that is what chivalry means to me but yes had amazing turkish food tonight Good sharing platters, it wasn't a vegan place. A lot of their food can be vegan if you go for like the meze or the side dishes. It was delicious. And the ambience in that restaurant was so nice. They had like live music, really recommend if you're in Camden. But it's also on a road of like Pureza, Temple of Camden, Vegan Planet. So 
I also understand if you'd rather go to those. So if you're dining with someone who eats meat who doesn't want to go to a vegan establishment, yes, that was a good alternative. See you guys in the morning. Have I ever cooked for you before, Charlie? I think this is the first time. Touch wood, it's not the last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could happen. But it's not really me, it's Green Chef. True, shout out to Green Chef. I'm a big fan of Thai food, so fingers crossed Nicole doesn't mess it up. Now what are we making? We are making Thai inspired sweet potato cakes. I've already said we, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. I, I am cooking for Charlie today, first time ever. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. This might surprise you, but I really get so shy cooking for other people. I really rarely do it. I think just for so long, I was the only vegan that people knew, and I always felt like my cooking would have to represent the whole of veganism, which was quite a lot to put on someone's shoulders. I never got in the habit of cooking for people, and it really intimidates me. But this was cool, because using Green Chef, I just knew the food would taste good, and it gave me the opportunity to cook for a friend, and it was really fun. Last time I've ever cooked for you. I know. Happy Mmm. They're good, man. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget, using Nicole 61, you can save 40% off your first two Green Chef boxes and 25% off your next two boxes. Bacon. No. Uh, this is actually quite good. It's good, isn't it? But I'm comparing it to like natural bacon. Yeah. Guys, we just found free vegan bacon. <laughs> Of okay, mm. go. Taste it's test. Warm. Yeah? Mm. Out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> it's just bacon, innit? It's just bacon, innit? <laughs> Seven? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I got a little bit free as well. They were handing some out for, I guess, the friendlier tasters. Yay! So I think I bought this at the end of last video. We have vegan ogs and I have a bit left. So we're gonna try <laughs> and make a vegan omelette using it, which I haven't done yet. So let's see how it goes. In Og's defense, it has been a long time since I last made an omelet, but fun fact, when I went vegan at 13, I literally think an omelet was the only thing I knew how to make, and then I was back, back starting from scratch. It's not, we'll see how it tastes. It didn't go quite as I expected. I think I maybe needed more egg. I feel like I got my ratios wrong. It's just a bit rubbery. Wouldn't get it again. Definitely not. I wouldn't say my experience of Oggs has been great. If you do buy it, you need Kalanamak to make sure it tastes like egg, because that's like the eggy seasoning I always use with tofu. The one time I have quite enjoyed it is for doing like an eggy layer in a sandwich. So if you wanted to do like, say, a vegan sausage and egg McMuffin, you could make a nice little round thing with that, but you have to season it. And the reason that works is because the egg in a like McMuffin is kind of rubbery, isn't it? I don't, again, it's been a long time, but from my memory, they're kind of rubbery. Yeah, it's not, it's not getting a glowing review. Stick with tofu is my advice. So today I'm hanging out with Vegan Girl Boss, if you follow her on Instagram. She does a lot of toaster recipes and very much like that girl 
content. So if you like that sort of like 5 a.m. motivation, definitely worth following. She's got a PR lunch and I've got a PR dinner. So we're just gonna like hang out all day and try out some lovely food and check out some new things in London. So that'll be fun. We've got quite a fun day. But I have a lot of work I need to do for then. I've been editing this morning. I've just had a lot of shooting and a lot of editing to do, a lot of emails to answer, a lot going on this week. Okay, I really need to head out, but I got the cutest delivery just through from Bybee. Their um, skincare brand, and they've sent me some like biscuits. How adorable. <laughs> I've also got skincare, but the biscuits are so cute. Yeah, I'm out from night and I'm in this like really sparkly, cute dress, but it's like, I don't know, 2 p.m. on a tube, Thursday, Thursday. I just feel like a bit of a knob right now. It kind of feels like a, um, like a greasy takeaway, but like Michelin star. Mm. <laughs> so honestly, this has been one of the best places I've been to in a long time. They have a lot of great vegan food, a lot of great vegetarian food, but they also, I think, do meat in the evenings. So it'd be a really incredible place to come to if you're in like a relationship or you've got family who eat meat and you're trying to find a place that everyone can eat good. This is a place and like the table napkins. Oh, I love a good dessert. Oh, so good. Wow. It's so hard to find a good vegan dessert. Pistachios as well, honestly. Mm. When you know there's pistachios and dessert, mm. I'm like, it's gonna be a good one. Even just yesterday I had baklava, baklava. I don't mm. know how you pronounce it. Mm. That's, like, that's my favorite. <laughs> Morning and happy Friday. I think we're gonna have more scrambled tofu. <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely got a lot of editing and filming to do today, a few deadlines, and I've got to get on with it. Okay guys, we're on to the last Green Chef meal, and we've got the chimichurri portobello mushroom tacos. Love mushrooms, this should be good. It really has been so much fun this week, just spending a bit more time in the kitchen, making some really incredible meals, and just really enjoying it, and finding both peace and joy in it. I, it's just been fun, yeah. Yeah, it's just been really fun. I actually really, really enjoyed all these Green Chef recipes. They had so much choice and I feel like I really nailed it with what I chose. <laughs> I guess I know my own taste, but yeah, I'm keen to hear which one you think looked the best all week. Oh my God. I never make wraps either. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm. I was worried this might be a little bit spicy for me, but it's just perfect. And the vegan cheese they gave me, it crumbled so well. Mm. Don't forget using code Nicole61, you can save 40% on your first two boxes and 25% on your next two boxes. Great way of saving money, trying out new food, upping up your cooking skills. Big up, Green Chef. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week. Hit subscribe to see more and bye. Mm.